Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arman with the Stock Swoosh. I'm here to review the SPY. <clears throat> and the reason I'm reviewing the SPY is because we, we've got down in the last two days. And, I mean, no one is more surprised than me. Why? Because it doesn't make any sense in the overall picture, knowing that the market's higher. That being said, we did hold today. We did hold yesterday. But the gap downs aren't good. We have to gap up tomorrow. In the pre-market or the post-market tonight, we're actually we're actually up because we, we didn't we closed at 205. We're we're gapping up 35 cents, but we need to gap up a lot more than that tomorrow morning. I mean, we need to gap up tomorrow morning. We we we, we need to get near the high of today to gap up tomorrow morning to, to run. And if we do, the target is is good. It's it's big. It's a big target. But uh, you know, without it, without a decent size gap up tomorrow, the market's going to struggle for another day. Every time we've gapped down today and yesterday, and even four days ago, it was Friday, we're not selling off hard. So the good thing is for the bulls that we're not having hard sell offs. The sell-offs aren't following through in the day. That's the positive thing. The negative thing is that the market is gapping down in the pre-market into the open. That is creating panic. The panic isn't falling through in the live day. The market's being supported with buying on the live day to hold the gap downs from breaking, but we're not going higher. It's like we're in this weird situation where we're not going higher and yet we're not going lower. So we have to get out of this congestion. You, you see it here. This is, I call this congestion. It's congestion. If we go back to the beginning of April, and this is, you know, I mean, this is a month ago now. Today is May 4th. We had beautiful buying bars in here, solid greens. You see this in here. It's now on the 50 period moving average, which is a big buy point for all stocks and ETFs and, and including the SPY. But we got we gotta we gotta get going here. I mean, we have to get our butts moving. Higher, stronger, more. So I don't know where we open tomorrow. Because Tesla earnings tonight were good, which I knew would be. Let's check in here. This is gonna get up tomorrow morning, which I knew. I think this opens higher than where we're at right now here. Well, wow. look at this. We were at 243 in the post market at one point. We're still gapping up. I mean, this is still a beautiful $7 plus gap up in Tesla. And I think it looks better in the morning, but this should run bullishly tomorrow into the morning, into the open and help the market. But here, let's just look at the cues. We're gapping up in the QQQs tonight too. But the overall bottom line is, oh gosh, do you see this here? We, did, we didn't break. I mean. I, it's a sign of strength, but we, we got to get going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, look at this. 104.79 and 104.88. It's like, it's like by the hair of our skinny chin chin that we're holding. But but we are. I We need to gap up. And it's going to happen tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Thursday. We've got a couple econ reports in the morning. I mean, it just has to do it of its own momentum. It doesn't even need a reason. Buying has to come in tonight, tomorrow, in the morning. We are getting the buying tonight in the post market. You can see the rally here. This is the move up. But honestly... Gotta see follow through tomorrow. We, if we don't see follow through tomorrow, that's it. We must hold this area in the market. I believe that we do. It's a big buy point for the SPY, but the market is very challenging for people because it's in an area of congestion, as I pointed out, back from the beginning of April, that had buying, the buyers in here must support the price by buying more. We're not getting hard sell-offs, but we must see more buying coming in to support us. If we don't have more buying, we won't go higher, okay? It's almost like a neutral position that's stuck. We gotta, we gotta move out of it. So we're not breaking, but we're not moving higher. Does this make sense? So we gotta move higher. And we need a gap up to do it. Gaps are very powerful. Gaps are 
signs, signs of strength or weakness in stocks or ETFs. And it will be a big sign for the market to get up tomorrow. In an ideal world, the SPY gaps up tomorrow over 206. Over 206, a big gap up. I really want to see that tomorrow. And could we do it? Absolutely, yes. I thought we'd do it today. We didn't. When we gapped down today, I thought we were going to fall like a brick. We didn't. Why? Because the market doesn't really want to sell off. It really wants to go higher, but it's not ready to do it. But it's got to do it soon because we can't say suck forever. It's so the one nice thing about stocks. It's one nice thing about the market. It has to move. <laughs> okay, it can't not move. So it's got to move and we'll see what happens. It, we look good for a gap up tomorrow. It's just the size of the gap up. And I, the bigger, the better. And that's the point I'm trying to make. So we'll see what happens here with the market. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you want more information on the overall way that I trade, the way that I read gaps, okay? This is how I'm figuring this stuff out. I wouldn't have shorted this gap this morning. It didn't have the fall through lower, but you couldn't buy it either. But I can tell you right now, you can buy a gap up tomorrow if it's over 206. You can buy it and let it rally. And this is just, we got to get through this. And the best way to do it is a big gap up. I really want to roll out of bed tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., look at the market and see a massive dollar gap up. And, you know, a dollar isn't massive, but it would be for the spy at this point. Have a great night, everyone. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you want more information on the Golden Gap class. Have a great night, everyone.